In this video, we are going to learn about RCNN in depth. The total process of object detection using RCNN can be broken down into four steps. The first step is generating region proposal from the image. Second, we need to pass the region proposals through a CNN. And third, we will be classifying those region proposals or the features using an SVM. And finally, we will be doing the bounding box regression. So let's start with the first one that is generating the region proposals. So what are region proposals? Well, as the phrase suggests, they are part of the input image where there could be a possibility of finding an object. So let's say if this is an image, then the possibility of finding an object in the green and the red box is more than in the yellow box. So the green and the red boxes can be called region proposals. We get the region proposals using an algorithm called selective search. What selective search does is that it takes an image which already has a lot of over segmentation done. As you can see in the left picture, we have a field, sky, some cows, barbed wires, etc. An over segmented image will look something like this. I am actually fast passing this portion as it is not a part of RCNN. The last step is to merge these over segmented image based on certain similarities. You can see in this image, the level 0 was our over segmented image and some regions were merged in level 1. Then all of it was merged into two regions in level 2 to get these two regions as you can see one in the light green and the other in dark green. If you see the level 1, the image will have the following segments. You can see the big peach color here. This corresponds to the peach box which is the cow. The red region corresponds to the second cow which is the box in red, the blue region to the blue box and so on. One important thing to note here is that at every level you will have some regions and the number of regions will keep on decreasing as the level moves up. What you need to know is that all the regions at all the levels will be given by the selective search algorithm. Another thing to note is that even though the regions are not necessarily rectangle, the selective search algorithm will try its best and give the best fitting rectangle for that region. So our output for the selective search algorithm will look something like this. We'll have the region in the leftmost column and the level which will be retrieved in the rightmost column. X and Y are the top leftmost coordinate of a region proposal and W and H are the width and height of the region respectively. So till here we are done with the first part that is the selective search algorithm for getting the region proposals. Now we are ready for the second stage that is extracting features from the CNN network. So we take a deep convolutional neural network like VGG or AlexNet or ResNet, it can be anything. The authors of the paper use AlexNet, so for our use case we will also be using the AlexNet architecture. Okay, the important thing to note here is that AlexNet was initially trained for image classification and not object detection. So to reflect the change in the scenario, we will have to fine tune the AlexNet architecture. To do that, we need to do two things. Number one, remove the last layer and replace it with a new layer. And number two, redefine the data set and classify region proposals. The second one is more important and so please pay attention. Doing the first part first, the last layer is removed and a new layer of size 4096 cross n plus 1 is added. Now you may ask why did we actually take 4096 cross n plus 1 and what is this n? Well, as you can see, the last layer of the original AlexNet has 4096 inputs and 1000 outputs as it was trained on ImageNet and as you know ImageNet had 1000 categories. So since we are using our own data set for fine tuning, we will need to have as many outputs as there are number of classes in our data set. For example, if we have a data set of images for cats versus dogs classification, our n will be 2 since there are only two possibilities, cats or dogs. Then plus 1 is added to classify if the region proposal is a background as you can see in this particular case. Now let's do the second part that is to define the data set. So our data set will have many images and for each image we will be roughly having 2k region proposals or 2000 region proposals. Well this is a number that is generally quoted for selective search algorithm. Now since we have three neurons at the end, the first neuron will correspond to the class dog, the second one will correspond to cat and the third one will correspond to the background. Now the task we have is to find whether a region proposal has a dog in which case the neuron 1 will fire or a cat in which case the neuron 2 will fire or if it just has a background in which case the neuron 3 will be fired. Now in our data set we are having images with labels and ground truth bounding boxes which are the top left coordinate 
x1 y1 and the bottom right coordinate x2 y2 so to classify each reason proposal what we do is to find an intersection over union with the given ground truth bounding box i hope you already know the concept of intersection over union or iou and if you don't there is a video in this channel you can go and search for it after having found the iou we see if it is more than 0.5 and if it is then it is classified as positive for that class else it is negative let's take an example and try to understand it more clearly in this image i have one cat and one dog so let's say we run the selective search algorithm and get these as the region proposal the real selective search algorithm will give you as many as 2000 region proposals i have just taken a few to illustrate the example so now what we will do is to take the red box region proposal as an example if you see it has some overlap with the dog bounding box in yellow which is the ground truth since we have a large overlap we say it has an iou of 0.8 now that 0.8 is greater than 0.5 it will be classified as positive for the class dog or it will fire the first neuron similarly the green box let's say has an iou of 0.3 with the dog ground truth yellow box it will be taken as negative that is only the neuron 3 will fire similarly the black bounding box let's say has 0.7 iou with the blue cat box it will be taken positive for the cat class and neuron 2 will have to fire then we have this orange region proposal that has an iou of 0.4 with the blue ground truth bounding box of the cat and so this is the negative region proposal and neuron 3 will fire lastly we have this purple bounding box that has an iou of 0 with any other bounding box and so it is just negative at last the region proposal will be associated with a neuron and the fine tuning of the alexnet can start you should also notice one thing that i have saved the iou that i have got for each region proposal as it will be used while training the svms there is one last thing the size of the region proposals as you can see that the red bounding box for dog is a lot bigger than the black bounding box for cat and one restriction on cnn is that they take images of a constant shape to solve the problem we scale all the region proposals to the size 227 cross 227 as suggested by the paper so after having done all of this we train the alexnet with this data set and with a low learning rate once the alexnet is fine tuned we again remove the last layer and pass all the scaled region proposals to get the output from the second last layer this would finally give us our features for each region proposal and each such feature vector has a size of 4096 so this much would conclude the second part now we'll come to the third part that is training the svms so when it comes to svms we need to understand that we will have to train as many number of svms as there are classes in our data set so in our case we'll have to train two svms as there are two classes cats and dogs given a region proposal the svm is responsible to find whether there is the object that it has been trained upon is present in that particular region proposal or not for example for the red region proposal we pass it through the cnn and get a vector of size 4096 and then pass it through the dog svm to get the score the score that svm produces will tell us whether there is a dog present in the region proposal or not so this is how it works so now let's try to understand how the svm will be trained for that we will again see our iou data set that we created earlier for the region proposals so let's say we are going to train our first svm that is the svm for dogs to do that what we will do is that we will take all the region proposals that have less than 0.3 iou with the dog ground box so in this case all the bounding boxes will be negative except the red bounding box because it has an iou of 0.7 which is greater than 0.3 so this will give us the negatives for the dog svm we still however do not have the positives the positive region proposals for the dog svm will actually be the ground truth box itself so for that we'll have to pass the ground truth bounding box that is the yellow box through the cnn and get the feature vector for the box this feature vector will be labeled as 1 whereas all other vectors will be labeled as 0 so for training the dog svm our data set looks something like this so this image gives us only one ground truth box however there will be multiple images so we will have enough positive examples to train the svm similar thing will happen while training the cat svm but there is one important thing that you should look out for and that is what we are going to see right now and that thing is the orange region proposal now during the fine tuning of the cnn phase 
the orange bounding box was taken as negative for neuron 2 as its overlap was less than 0.5 but for the SVM training it will not be negative as 0.4 is greater than 0.3 so in this case it will be taken as non-negative so the important thing to note here is that the threshold was 0.5 for negative and positive during the fine tuning phase however only for negative during the SVM training we take the threshold to be 0.3 and not 0.5 so lastly, the data set for the CAT SVM will be all the feature vectors of all the region proposals with IOU less than 0.3 for the negatives. For the positives, we will again be taking only the real ground truth boxes. So now that our data set for both the CAT and the DOG SVMs are made, we can train the SVMs. Now let's talk about the last part of RCNN, the one that took me the most amount of time to understand, that is the bounding box regressor. So for the bounding box, what we need to understand is that we will be only taking those region proposals that had an IOU of greater than 0.6 with the ground truth boxes. For the architecture of the regressor, we will have a simple one layer neural network. But this time, the input to the neural network will be the pool 5 or the max pool features of the CNN as you can see on the screen right now. So the shape of the regressor neural network is 9216 cross 4. We will have 9216 as the input size because once we flatten the max pool layer of pool 5, we will have this as the size. Finally, we will be having 4 outputs and the logic of the 4 outputs will be explained now. So the idea of the regressor is to correct the coordinates of the region proposal and make it closer to the ground truth box. The question that we need to answer is how are we going to create the training data for the regressor. We do that by taking all the region proposals which had an IOU greater than 0.6 and the ground truth box associated with it. We then do a transformation using this formula as you can see. So for the example, you can see here that Px and Py are the center coordinates of the region proposal and Pw and Ph are the width and height of the region proposal respectively. Similarly, Gx, Gy, Gw and Gh are the center coordinates along with the height and width of the ground truth box. Then we apply the formula and get the respective Tx, Ty, Tw and Th. The above process can be done without the CNN as it does not involve the features. Now for the region proposals that had an IOU greater than 0.6 with the ground truth box and for which we found the Tx, Ty, Tw and Th in the above step will be passed through the CNN and the features of that will be taken. Remember, the CNN that we are talking about is the fine-tuned CNN. Its pool 5 features will be taken and passed through the regressor neural network and the values will be obtained. Now, the idea is that we have to make these 4 values which are predicted to be equal to or at least close to Tx, Ty, Tw and Th individually. As you can see, the loss function also suggests that. If you look at the loss function closely, they are trying to reduce the mean squared error loss between the two predictions. There is also a regularization term which we can see here. So that was it from my side. Thank you very much and bye.